fitting up insulation here and you set it up about three feet from the back of the tire wall and so if you include the tires you get like a five six feet wide wall before you have this four inch insulation and so that makes for your thermal mass and it's like you could see it as supercharged adobe that stuff stays cool in the desert and this is much better than that the insulation I'm putting up is moisture resistant and uh, it means I don't need to wrap it in plastic uh, it's it also acts as a moisture barrier for the home so the dirt and the tires they they will stay dry here I have a cooling tube and this one is made of polyethylene it's high density polyethylene and uh, it's kind of different from what Earthship Biotecture uses they use they prefer to use metal tubes and they say that's better because metal conducts heat better which is true but um, it's actually not the tube that uh, is uh, limiting in the heat transfer is actually the soil and I've done some math for that which I will show in the video uh, and it shows that um, this high density polyethylene has the same conductivity for heat as does it for soil and um, it means it means it's not really limiting heat transfer if if the soil is already limiting and um, I think this will work and I took the risk uh, it saves some money and I've just seen too many metal culvert tubes rust and I don't want rusting tubes this is supposed to be a century home and um, I think that should include the metal tubes or, or in this case the plastic tubes you see that the bubble is a quarter over the black line here and that means that the cooling tube is slanted about two degrees so that's a trick you can keep in mind also for plumbing where you also would need a two degree angle in most places use that quarter bubble over the black line in the direction where you want the slant the tube has fairly deep grooves so I spray foam around there's no way you can make that flush with the insulation around so spray foam is your fan friend sometimes you have to squash tires in and here I put a tire that was already squashed and this one I squashed in quite hard and it worked out this way between those tubes here you see a super squishy if your hole is too small for any tire what you can do is you cut both side walls off the tire and you just dump those two in another tire you put on top like that you don't have any waste and you don't need any concrete